Well, hey there, uh, this is Richard Weber out at Springhouse Gardens, and we're talking caterpillars and butterflies. You can't have one without the other. That's right. And I've got a special guest out here. This is Webb Barney, and he is an expert when it comes to raising caterpillars and, and, and getting them to grow into butterflies. So, Webb, what is your involvement in this whole process? Well, so my wife and I just recently opened a cafe just down the road here on the edge of Nicholasville in Lexington called Luna's Cafe. And it's a coffee, wine, and we call it a butterfly cafe. And the reason we call it a butterfly cafe is because we're also showcasing many of the native butterfly species found here in Lexington and Kentucky. Well, that's pretty cool. And I think these might be some of your babies. Yes, yes. we have some monarch caterpillars here feeding on some different um, milkweed species. And this is exactly what we're showing um, at our cafe. Um, many different species of butterflies feed on many different native plants. But like for the monarch butterfly, it only feeds on milkweed. So it's up to us to plant as many milkweed um, plants as we can to, to help the monarch butterfly. And I guess we kind of put two and two together because I thought it was a little early for the monarchs to be yes. up this far because they're yes. migrating from Mexico up to Canada for uh -huh. the summer. I hadn't even seen any. No. Uh, and you told me that you released several yes. last week down the road at, down at Alltech and maybe one of those females came up here and laid these eggs it, it, because... It's possible. Yeah, as they're migrating through Kentucky up to uh, Canada, they lay some eggs as they move on, and then throughout the summer, they um, increase their populations here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So these are getting ready. These have been feeding now at least probably about a week probably, yes, right? They yes. were really small, uh -huh. even when I found them two nights ago. Yes. And they were getting ready to eat up the entire plant here. So I brought some of these handy little three packs from the garden center because we've got three different species of milkweeds just like this ready to be eaten. And mm -hmm. what you're doing is you're really trying to provide food that yes. does get eaten. So the last thing you want to do is go out and try to spray uh -huh. because you're seeing your, your leaves being eaten. Right. You're, you're planting these for that very purpose because a caterpillar can't grow unless it has the right leaf or the right food mm -hmm. To, uh, to grow on. So we're gonna talk more about this in another segment, but in the meantime, if you have any questions, give us a call or come out and visit us at Springhouse Gardens. We're at 185 West Catnip Hill Road. Anytime our garden center is open, which right now we're still seven days a week, you're free to walk down the gardens and you might be able to see these caterpillars, but don't bother them. We gotta <laughs> leave them alone. But come and see us or look us up on the web at springhousegardens.com.